The 2023 Hyundai Tucson struts a cutting-edge style that stands out among its more sober-looking compact SUV competitors. That doesn't mean that the Tucson sacrifices practicality or affordability, it boasts both. Hyundai has taken the blanket approach with the Tucson, offering a wide variety of trims and powertrains, including a hybrid and plug-in hybrid, giving it broad appeal. The entry-level powertrain is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder, but the hybrid and plug-in hybrid models use a turbocharged 1.6-liter four that's buttressed by an electric motor a combination that provides more pep. Entry-level models of the Tucson are nicely equipped while higher-end trims cross the line from mainstream to premium, giving it an edge over rivals such as the Honda Car-V, the Toyota RAV4, Following a complete redesign for the 2022 model year, the Tucson sees only a few packaging changes for 2023. The premium package has been eliminated from the cell model, and its contents have been distributed as standard features to other trim levels. For example, the panoramic sunroof is now standard on the inline trim, and the larger 10.3-inch infotainment screen can be found on all X trims and up. Adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, and a speed limit assist feature are now standard on all Tucson trims. Serenity White Pearl replaces quartz white on the Tucson's exterior color palette. After sampling the Tucson's various powertrains, we think the hybrid represents the sweet spot between performance, features, and price. We suggest the Cell Convenience Hybrid trim as it comes standard with heated front seats, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, a sunroof, and a 10.3-inch digital gauge display, among other niceties. The Tucson sports a simplistic but modern dashboard design with a digital gauge display, a push-button shifter, and a touch-sensitive control panel for the climate control system and infotainment. Hyundai's flagship Palisade SUV and the brand's recently redesigned Sonata and Elantra sedans have served as a sort of watershed moment for the company's interior designs, and the new Tucson continues the trend with a thoughtfully arranged interior filled with quality materials and luxury features. The Tucson's rear seat space and cargo area are both larger than the outgoing model, providing more passenger comfort and practicality. Behind the hybrid's back row, we fit nine carry-on suitcases, and the luggage capacity rose to 22 bags with the seat back stowed. A standard 8.8-inch touchscreen is integrated into the dashboard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A larger 10.3-inch screen with built-in navigation is optional as are features such as Sirius XM satellite radio and an upgraded Bose stereo system. Other high-tech offerings include Hyundai's digital key smartphone app, which provides lock and unlock features as well as an option for remote start. A 187 horsepower's 2.5-liter four-cylinder will be standard and comes with an 8-speed automatic and either front or all-wheel drive. 
a turbocharged 1.6-liter 4-wheel power hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, which is good for a combined 226 horsepower in the former and 261 horsepower in the latter. All-wheel drive is standard with the electrified powertrains, and both come with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The non-hybrid Tucson's performance is adequate at best, so lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. At our test track, our all-wheel drive limited test vehicle lopped to 60 miles per hour in an unimpressive 8.8 .8 seconds, which is nonetheless close to average for this not very swift class of SUVs. The more powerful Tucson Hybrid and Plug-in Hybrid are both quicker, but don't expect the sports car like acceleration of Toyota's RAV4 Prime from them. At our test track, our loaded limited hybrid test vehicle managed a reasonable 7.1 second run to 60 miles per hour. While the Tucson is no sports car, its handling is confident, its steering is reasonably crisp, and its ride is agreeable. What's most striking about the Tucson's driving demeanor is how quiet and refined it feels when cruising. It's these traits that give the SUV a sense of luxury that is rare to find in this class.